In this video we will explore the question where exactly do we face challenges in ABAP development. To do this we will navigate to the learning roadmap on our website and take a look at the various topics. The learning roadmap provides a starting point, the classic development and as goal ABAP Cloud. And here we are already in the middle of the challenge. ABAP Cloud won't be the goal of every company, but along the way there are many topics that affect us as ABAP developers and each step improves our development skills. The various topics of the roadmap are described in more detail on this page to give you a better understanding of them, especially if you are not familiar with the topic yet. The topics in the outer areas are optional in most cases. The legend provides further information on the meaning of the various topics. In the video description you will find the link to the overview page if you'd like to see more details. You can learn the basics today and don't even need a modern S4HANA system for this. The first step is to consider modernizing your IDE. The ABAP development tools are the goal. All new features in development are only added here. However, even with release 7.4, which would be the solution manager, or release 7.5, which would be the current ECC, it's worth working with the ABAP development tools. In addition to the IDE, you can also start bringing your ABAP skills up to date. Modern ABAP replaces many of the old statements with new functions and makes statements nestable. Classes form your backbone in development. The majority of your business logic should be contained within them. And other objects such as reports, function modules or gateway components are only shells for calling your objects. Together with interfaces and various patterns, they form the basis for decoupling and testability of your source code. Unit tests provide a safety net during development, enabling faster development and reducing manual test effort. A bug found in production could be automatically tested with every future update to prevent it from occurring again. The next step is web technologies. More and more applications can be accessed via the browser, are optimized for mobile devices and require no additional installation on the device. The basis for this is OData, which is provided via the sub-gateway in older releases. In addition to OData and the basic REST framework, you should also look at the web communication and how data is delivered to the browser. The better you understand the basics of the web, the easier it will be for you to develop in this environment. You don't have to become a freestyle developer right away, but you should understand the Fury and UI5 concepts to make Fury elements easier for you later on. Before we delve into modern development, you should work on your code quality. Various resources and tools are available to you here. The basics are described in the Clean ABAP Style Guide. It's worth taking a moment to read the document to get a better idea of what constitutes good source code. CodePal and the ABAP Test Cockpit can help you automatically check all your development objects. The ABAP Cleaner provides you with a tool in ADT that will save you a lot of time with formatting and thus ensure consistent source code within your team. Another reason to switch to ADT today. The most important and biggest change in development concerns in the programming model. You now build your applications using the new ABAP RESTful Application Programming Model, or ABAP for short. This affects the UI but also topics such as APIs within the system and externally. To understand and use RAP, you also need to understand core data services. They are the foundation of the new data model in the system, but also the foundation of RAP as they model entities. Related to this is the topic of code pushdown, where you do less with the data in the actual program and instead leave the tasks to the HANA database. These two aspects alone require a lot of time to get used to and learn it. The Clean Core plays a central role in extensibility. New concepts such as developer extensibility, key user extensibility and side-by-side -side should be considered. ABAP Cloud already plays a central role here, as it can be used on stack and side-by-side. -side. Where do we actually start with extending the system? You should ask yourself this question with every extension. There are various criteria for whether an extension should be built integrated or decoupled. Depending on your company's strategy, you can then decide where to implement the extension. You've already looked at the concepts of Fury. In this step, you should be familiar with the new tools like Business Application Studio and Fury Elements. These allow you to develop simple UIs very quickly and extend them using the flexible programming model. The ZAP GUI is no longer a central component of ZAP's UI strategy. The most extensive topic, however, will be the APIs in the subsystem. A 
especially when accessing the core we need released and stable APIs. The XCO libraries already make a good start here, but they are very difficult to learn. However, depending on the business modules, you will search in vain for BAPIs and released core data services. As you can see, the topics cover the entire spectrum of development and many of the old technologies are no longer needed. So you should ask yourself, where are you on the journey to ABAP Cloud? Depending on what you have already learned, you are either at the very beginning of the classic development, on the journey towards cloud, or you have already reached your goal. In our opinion, the biggest challenge in the coming years will be learning the new topics, as every developer has different prerequisites. For many years, there were hardly any new innovations from SAP. And we as developer had different levels of knowledge, both in terms of how we learned it and what we learned from our trainers. It's therefore time for a comprehensive modernization of ABAP development and an increase of the source code quality. For some developers, the journey won't be easy, but we will support you on this channel and on our blog. See you next time.